Today I'm bringing you another full face tutorial. This is kind of a first impressions, mostly on the eyeshadow. So I picked up the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Division Palette recently and I wanted to try out in a video for you guys because I think it's like under $10, which is insane because you get 15 shadows in here. As you can see, this definitely looks like a fall palette to me, a fall wintry palette. They did have a couple other ones, but this one caught my eye because I don't really have anything like this. If I had to give this a rating on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best palette I've ever used and 1 being the worst, I would probably give this like a 5 or a 6, um, only because the shadows definitely don't come out the same shade that they are in the palette. They're a little bit more muted than this. You can build them up, but I haven't really been able to build these up the way I thought I was going to. They are, however, super, super blendable and super creamy, which I really do like, but the pigment isn't completely there for me, which is why I do give it a lower rating. It's not a deal breaker for me. I will definitely keep using this, but just a warning. If you want to try this out, I would recommend it, but the pigment isn't the same as like my James Charles palette from Morphe. Moving on. So basically this is a full face tutorial. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep watching. First thing we're doing today is priming and I'm just picking up my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is their primer and moisturizer in one. Sorry, I just got a text message. But I'm just putting this all over my face to prime today. And then I'm gonna be mixing together my It Cosmetics CC Cream with my Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter. This is in the shade Starlight. I'm gonna be blending that in with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge and I just wanted to show you kind of the ratio that I do of liquid highlighter to foundation. Of course, you can always go in and kind of customize this depending on how dewy you want your foundation to be, but I'm just gonna be putting this all over my face and then blending it in with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. I'm going to be mixing together two concealers today to get the right shade. I will be using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer as well as my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow concealer. I'm just mixing in the L'Oreal concealer just because that Too Faced one is a little light for my liking. Oh my god, my voice just cracked like I'm a 12 year old boy going through puberty. Moving on. I'm just going to blend that in with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. Surprise, surprise, what's new? Taking my Chanel Cream Bronzer and my Sigma F84 brush, I'm just going to push this onto the perimeters of my face wherever I would normally bronze. If you have seen any of my recent videos, you will know how in love I am with this product. I actually don't really like doing my makeup without this lately just because when you layer it under a powdered bronzer, I feel like it just gives such a glowing from within, like a tan look. Obviously, it's a bronzer, but this has just been one of my favorite products to use lately. I'm picking up my Milk Makeup Cream Blush and I'm putting it onto this dual fiber stippling brush and then I'm putting this onto my face. I'm not going in directly with this product just because I feel like it doesn't blend out as nicely where when I put it on this stippling brush I can really kind of go in and buff it around. I love this product. It looks so natural. I've just been loving creams lately if you can't tell and I'm just going to put this on a little bit stronger than I need to because for me blush fades very very easily. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow and I'm putting this onto the top of my cheekbones. I'm not using that Makeup Revolution one. Just because with the Makeup Revolution one, you can definitely see that it's a bit more chunky as far as the glow goes. You can kind of see little pieces of glitter and I don't have that with my Anastasia one, so I prefer to use this on top of my skin while mixing in my Makeup Revolution one with my foundations. Now I'm quickly gonna set my under eye with my RCMA No Color Powder. First, I'm just gonna go back in with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge and use that to tap out my under under eye. As you can see when I look up there are definitely creases in that concealer just from the fine lines I have under my eyes. So I love to go in and blend out my concealer before setting it just to make sure that there are no creases or anything like that. Now I'm just taking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm putting that everywhere that I put that Chanel bronzer. I'm taking this Morphe blush in the shade Unapologetic from my Pop of Coral Blush Trio and I'm just going to be putting this over top of that Milk Makeup Cream blush just to set it in place. Mm -hmm. 
This is one of my all-time favorite drugstore highlighters. This is the Mary Lou highlighter by The Balm. Fun fact, I've actually had this exact highlighter for probably five years and I have barely made a dent in it. It is so pigmented. A little bit of this goes a long way and it's also super buildable. So I'm just putting that over top of where I put that Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid highlighter just to set everything in place and just to enhance the glow. Then I'm just quickly setting my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist because all of my face makeup is done and I want that to stay in place all day long, plus it is super refreshing. So now I'm just going in with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I'm just filling in my brows. You guys already know the drill. I'm going to speed this up because this is pretty self-explanatory. Now I'm picking up this Makeup Revolution Reloaded Division Palette. I'm taking this shade right here with my Morphe R37 brush and I'm going to pop that into my crease as my transition shade. This is probably one shade darker than my skin tone. You can't really tell. All this is going to do is just help me to see where I want to put the crease shades and it's kind of just going to set a nice base for everything to blend into. So now I'm taking my Morphe M433 brush and this brown shade right here. I'm going to focus this into my inner corner, not my inner corner, my outer corner and my crease area. I'm just bringing it right through that socket line and I'm building this up until I'm happy with the pigmentation. These shadows are definitely blendable, but the pigmentation isn't all the way there when you kind of dip into it. It looks like a little bit more of a muted version than it looks like in the pan. So I'm just building this up until I'm happy with the pigmentation. With the same brush, I'm taking this purpley shade right there and I'm just going to focus this once again on that outer corner and through that crease. Just doing the same thing, so going through and building this up until I'm happy with the pigmentation. Now I'm taking this peachy pink shade which definitely came off a lot more pink and a lot brighter in the pan than it did on my eye. I'm just going to be taking this flat synthetic brush that came with my Naked 3 palette and I'm just going to pack this all over the lid, blending it back towards that outer corner. So now I'm taking this mustard shade right here and I'm putting that onto my transition area. So where I put that original transition area, that color really just didn't show up enough. So I'm just going in with this shade and running it through that area just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. And I'm also bringing that onto the outer corner to kind of wing out the shadow. Now I'm going in with my Morphe Gel Slate Liner. This is just a black gel liner and I'm going to go in and create a wing with this. I'm going to speed through this just because it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to throw on a quick coat of my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara just to prep my lashes for falsies. And then for false lashes today, I will be using my Tree Chic Lashes in the style Fierce. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite style of lash, just because of the beautiful cat eye effect that it gives. If you guys are interested in trying out any Tree Chic Lashes, you can use the code BROOK20 at checkout to save 20%. Picking up my Lipstick Queen Megastar Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Depth of Field. It's this beautiful hunter green shade. I'm just popping that into my lower waterline because I'm going to be picking up this green shade right here from the palette and using this to blend that out. Thank you. 
now I'm just taking this lighter green shade right here with a separate Morphe M433 brush. I believe I have like 10 of these, honestly. This is like my number one blending brush. I feel like you can just use it for so many different things. The shadow definitely did have a lot of fallout, so I go in later with some translucent powder to clean it up, but I'm just using this to buff out that lower lash line. And then I just wanted to reincorporate some of the shade back into the lower lash line, so I am just buffing that onto the lower lash line. And then I'm picking up that orangey shade that we used in the transition area and just using that, once again, just to buff everything together and bring that up through that outer corner to make sure that everything is nice and blended and also that it has more of a wung out, winged out shape. I don't know the correct grammar of that. But then I'm just taking that Mary Lou highlighter and I'm working this onto my inner corner. I'm going in with a bit of a heavier hand and then I'm going to slowly blend it onto the lid and onto that lower lash line just to open up the eyes and to help highlight a bit more and then I'm also going to be putting that on my brow bone to highlight my brow bone. Then I'm just throwing a quick coat of mascara into my lower lashes. This is something that I used to skip all the time just because I felt like it kind of accentuated my dark circles, but oh my god, I literally can't do my makeup without this anymore. I feel like it just really completes the look and having that extra bit of definition on those lower lashes makes all of the difference. I'm just quickly putting on a quick coat of my Benefit Gimme Brow Plus. This is just their tinted brow gel just to set everything in place because my brows can honestly get a little wild sometimes. And then I'm going to be lining my lips with my Morphe lip liner in the shade Backseat Love. This is definitely my go-to lip liner. I love pinky nude shades, so this is perfect for that. And then over that, I'm going to be putting on my Morphe liquid lip in the shade Lulu. And then I felt like this lip just needed a little something, so I'm taking this Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade Goals, and I'm tapping this onto the center of my lips. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I actually really enjoyed doing kind of like a first impression drugstore video for you guys because this eyeshadow is so cheap. I believe it's like six or seven dollars. I will put the price on the screen because I don't remember exactly, but I believe it was under ten dollars, which is just crazy. I overall did like the palette, but there are definitely some things that I don't like about it. It was super blendable, but I feel like the pigment kind of got lost when you went in with other shadows, so I feel like I really had to keep going in to reinforce those shadows, which isn't a deal breaker however like with my James Charles palette or other palettes that I have I don't have to worry about that so that that is something to keep in mind these shadows blend very very well I didn't try any of these like foiled shades in here yet I will definitely do another video with this and try those shades out I would overall recommend this palette just a fair warning that the shades do kind of come out a little bit more muted than they are in the pan however the, they blend really nicely and you can build them up so i would recommend it but that's just something to keep in mind if you really just want to go in and have the shadow come out true to color like it is in the pan i wouldn't recommend this palette but overall i was satisfied with it if you guys want to see more videos like this then give this video a thumbs up and also leave some products down below that you guys want me to try because there are so many drugstore products i don't know what's best or what you guys want to see me use so leave some comments down below also feel free to recommend any video ideas or anything like that down there as well you guys already know what to do click all the buttons down there subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on my post notifications so you get to see all of my uploads and like I said earlier if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up it helps me out it helps my channel and my video out it just helps to get my video out there so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and with that being said I will see you guys in the next one